Welcome to the world of technology and this is the era of 5G. But before reaching to the 5G, we were at the position of our first generation technology, then we moved on to second generation, then third generation, and so on we came to the fifth generation. But today we are looking backward going from first generation to fifth generation and all the technologies and advancement that came through. So first generation was the wireless telephone technology introduced in your 1980s and completed in early 1990s. Its speed was up to 2.4 kbps. It, allow, it allows the voice call in only one country. 1G network was using only analog signals. Would you believe that compared to today's world? And in 1G technology, AMPS was first launched in USA in 1G Mobile. Although 1G was a biggest revolution of its time, bringing the world together, but there were a lot of drawbacks compared to the other advancement in technology. The poor voice quality, the poor battery life, large phone sizes that you might have not seen in today's world, no security, anybody can hack you, limited capacity, and poor handoff reliability. Compared to we move on to the 2G technology refers to the second generation which is actually based on your GSM which was launched in your Finland in 1991. 2G was the biggest advancement compared to the 1G because in 1G we had 2.4 kbps and in the 2G we got its data speed was up to 64 a marvelous turning point for the mobile creator 64 kbps features included it enables services such as only text messages picture messages and multimedia messages and it also provided the good quality and capacity the major drawbacks of 2g were the 2g required strong digital signals which were not that much at that time because of it required a lot of towers to be plotted everywhere to help mobile phone work. If there is no network coverage in any specific area, your digital signals would go weak. These symptoms are unable to handle complex data such as videos. And then with the advancement of 2G, we came across 2.5G. You might not have heard of 2.5G, but 2.5G came into existence, uh, which was uh, the features of it that was included in your only phone calls you would only receive send emails your web browsing one was introduced remember using that n70 cell phone of nokia which was popular uh, among the history if you do so that was the biggest advancement in 2.5d technology the speed was from 64 to 144 kbps and it, at that time the camera phone were also introduced which or if you want to download any audio that, that that is of three minutes it would take you about six to nine minutes to download that three minute mp3 song and from 6.2.5 g that is generation we moved in 2000 uh, the 3G technology, which is the data transmission speed, increased from 144 kbps to your 2 mbps. Amazingly, increasingly number that nobody had thought of at that time. Typically called smartphones and features inc increase its bandwidth, data transfer rates, and accommodate web-based application and audio and files. And that way, the generation of App Store came into existence from 3G technology. And 3G went for a long time, providing faster communication, send, receive large email messages, high speed waving, more security, video conferencing, 3D gaming that was never seen before, TVs, TV streaming, mobile TV, phone calls, large capacities and bandwidth and a lot of things were going on in 3g and the major thing was people who were downloading nine three minute mp3 song for about nine minutes it took them only 11 seconds up to 1.5 minute to download the same mp3 song three minutes the major drawbacks if you talk about them were expensive phones that were at that time because there was a new technology emerging you needed a new infrastructure to build up there was a high bandwidth requirement expensive 3g phones and there were probably the large cell phones compared to the old world 
Now we enter to the era of 4G technology. 4G is just the advancement of 3G. It has got nothing much than increasing its data rate from 2 Mbps to the 20 Mbps and it also uses the packet switching system and everything is about same only the internet rate speed has been faster in 4G but 5G is a new tech you might be taking the 5G at its lowest understanding but this technology has revolutionized everything anything you have, might have never seen before it's faster than your normal internet that is 4G it's 10 to 100 times faster than your 4G it's availability which means you can find the coverage anywhere it's almost 100% but we still put it at 99.999% and network the energy which your mobile phone uses for other devices it will be reduced by 90 percent that means 90 percent reduction in the network energy uses and it will benefit your battery life for about 10 years in 4g we are only able to connect up to 100 number of connected devices per unit area which is compared with 4g lte but if you're using the 5G, we are increasing that number with multiplying it with 10. That would be with 1000 brand width per unit area. That's the, that's the all time great than which have ever seen before. If you think you have learned something new from this video, comparing all the G's, all the generations of your cellular networks, please make sure to leave us a comment and make sure to subscribe and like this video so we can create more technological videos for you and keep visiting Tides Schooling.